has an important function in mathematics which is used in solving equations, neuroimaging, pooling of tests for infectious diseases, exact solutions of the Schrodinger equation, Bernoulli numbers, and so many more. It's called the Lambert W function. But what is the Lambert W function? Given f of x equals x times e to the x, the inverse function is the Lambert W function. So if we have an equation like x e to the x equals 1, we can solve for x using the Lambert W function. We get that x equals the Lambert W of 1, which is approximately 0 0.567. However, there are infinitely many solutions to that equation. Each of these solutions are different branches of the Lambert W function and is denoted in the subscript. If a branch isn't specified, it's assumed to be the principal branch, branch 0. But how do we compute such a function? Newton's method is a root finding algorithm such that x sub n plus 1 equals x sub n minus f of x sub n over f prime of x sub n. And as n grows to infinity, the approximation of a root of f of x gets better. Let's consider the equation x e to the x equals z. We know that x equals the Lambert W of z. Let's rearrange to get x e to the x minus z equals 0. So the root of the function f of x equals x e to the x minus z is the Lambert W of z. For Newton's method, we need the derivative of the function, which we can use the product rule and factorize. Newton's method tells us that we can find a root with this. Let's implement this in Python. First, let's import the decimal module to handle decimals to any desired precision. Let's use a precision of 30. Then, to find the Lambert W function, which takes in a value for z and the amount of iterations. Let's cast z to the decimal type so it can work with other decimal types and the starting value for x to be 0. If you want it to be more efficient, you could start on a closer value to the root and it will converge quicker. For each iteration, we will need to compute e to the x multiple times so we can compute it once and store it in a variable instead. Then, we do the main computation and finally, return x. Newton's method has quadratic convergence, which means after each iteration, the accuracy should double. So, we can estimate the amount of iterations it would take logarithmically. Otherwise, we can store the previous value and check if it's different to the current value. Once they are the same, the value would not have changed and fully converged with the precision we've set. This method will require more memory because we will be storing both the current and previous value. We can define the previous x to be none and change the loop to while x is not equal to the previous x. Finally, update the previous x to be x. This result is branch 0 of the Lambert W function, but it has another real branch at approximately negative 3.5. To compute this branch, we change our starting value for x to be closer to negative 3.5. This is also true for complex branches, but that would require complex arithmetic that isn't available in the decimal module. So I'll leave that as an exercise to the viewer to come up with a program that can compute all branches of the Lambert W function. Halley's method is currently the most efficient method for computing the Lambert W function. It is better because of its cubic convergence as opposed to Newton's quadratic convergence. Halley's method states this, and as n grows to infinity, the approximation of a root of f of x gets better. For Halley's method, we need the second derivative, which again, we can use the product rule and factorize. Halley's method tells us that we can approximate a root with this. Let's distribute the square, factor out and cancel e to the x sub n. Finally, divide both sides of the fraction by two lots of x sub n plus 1. Let's implement this in Python. First, 
Let's have the same setup as Newton's method. This time, we should have a variable for f of x and x plus 1, because they occur twice. This prevents from computing the same thing twice. Then, do the main computation and return x. The same thing with our other code can be applied to this. Iterate until fully converged, compute other branches by setting the initial guess closer to another branch, and extend to complex values if a complex arithmetic method is used instead. These programs are just an outline of the algorithm used to compute the Lambert W function and can be optimized. I'd like to see your implementations of this function in the comments. Thanks for watching.